Hi folks, I just want to talk about evolution um, and I just want to give a couple of arguments why I think evolution is not true and just point out something, one or two perceptions that I have about evolution. First of all, I think that, you know, this book here is a concordance and it has tons of information, different Greek words uh, syntax, sentences, uh, paragraphs, words, etc. It's, it's a, and it's full of information. It's absolutely compact of maps and things like that. And a living cell of a human being is more complex than this concordance. The question is where did the information of this concordance came? It came from Strong. Uh, Baptist theologian. And so where's the information come for living cells in human beings? Living uh, matter, pure matter can't produce information. Information that reads language and interprets language, where did that kind of information come from? The only conclusion you can come is it came from a designer. So that's my first argument against evolution second argument against evolution is mutations do not work to produce enough genetic variety in order to be able to produce new species it does not work the argument that you can take bacteria and that that has changed is not an argument we're talking about four billion years of evolutionary process the problem with that is that in order to pr prove evolution correct you would need at least a, a billion to two billion years of information and analysis of showing quite clearly that new species have developed in order to prove your position clearly that level of, uh, of evidence is never going to be available and that kind of a level of evidence to debunk evolution is never going to be available so basically evolution cannot be falsified because all the evolutionist has to do is say, well, give it some more time. And that's what they do. They increase the time factor of the evolutionary scenario, which protects it from critique and, and, and argument. All the arguments that the evolutionaries bring on to the table, whether it be retroviruses or whatever they bring, um, they're all arguments from authority. They're not actual arguments of demonstration for evolution. Like I said, the only way you can prove evolution is not from the fossil record. It's not from the genetic distribution within, the, uh, within various species. The only way you can prove that evolution is true is by showing, demonstrating, over billions of years that the process of mutation and natural selection can produce new species and nobody to my mind has done that or is able to do that so therefore your theory is not falsifiable and therefore if it's not falsifiable it's not real science yet the argument for the creator it's so simple and it can be falsified we can look at information within the cell and we can quite clearly deduce from that that there must have been a designer all the atheist or the evolutionist has to do is, uh, is prove that that is not information that it's not information within the cell and then they prove their point it so clearly is information within DNA it's like a factory um, if you imagine a factory with various robotic arms and various computers all working together to make a product uh, working in symmetry that's what it's like with DNA it's like a factory of different machines working together so it's quite clearly information so the evolutionists can't win a very simple debate that anybody can understand 
rather than the evolutionists coming with the arguments from authority, blinding people with science and technicalities that nobody understands. That is not argumentation. That is pure argument of authority. Those are my thoughts. Thank you for listening and let me know. Take care.